much, Pia Beta. My name is Etika from the Etika Porn Network, and I'm here today to bring you yet another battle. Um, today's battle was against someone that I found in the Smog on Wi-Fi Finder, and um, it was a pretty interesting battle just for the simple fact that um, this Pokemon, in terms of the team, it was, let's just say that it had a lot of heavy hitters, and yet um, I still seem to put up a little bit of a good show, although I feel I could have definitely done a little bit better in some regards of the battle. And also, Pokemon Street Beta, if you don't know, um, the Etika World Network is my brand new channel, and um, we still have a lot of stuff going on, so if you have any spare time, please feel free to subscribe. I mean, it would, I mean, well, you don't really have to subscribe, but I mean, if you really do like the content, then please, by all means, feel free. Anyways, um, so going into a team preview, which is one of the first... <laughs> things that I always miss whenever doing battles. Um, his team consists of a Tyranitar, who is, you know, a standard Tyranitar. I mean, I don't really expect too much from a Tyranitar, just from the fact that there's so many of them that it's hard to predict which ones is the set that you think it'll be, but yeah. Then you have Ferrothorn, and then uh, Bronzong, um, Landorus, and then you have Ramparados, and then last but not least, um, you have Rhyperior as well. So I mean, it's definitely a heavy hitting team. I mean, a lot of this Pokemon are Pokemon I do not want to take a hit from directly. So. Now with my Pokemon, I basically have to play safe and um, wear his team down until I can have some of my more powerful threats come through and wreck damage, such as Nidoqueen, um, uh, Rhydon, and um, Embor. So um, those are going to be my main offensive cores there. So this battle will be pretty interesting, so let's get into it and see what goes down. So my opponent's name is en Enemery? Yeah, Enemery, yeah, whatever. And I start off with my beautiful Superior, who I love with a passion. And he starts off with this Tyranitar. Now, I know he might think this is an unfavorable matchup for him, so I feel safe in there. So I definitely um, go for a move here, and I believe I go for a taunt just to prevent him from being a stealth rocker. Or, or rather, um, I knew I didn't want him to uh, be a Dragon Dancing set, so I made sure to go for a glare just in case, because you never know. The Dragon Dancing Tyranitar is going to be a problem. Anyways, seeing as how it's a uh, um, Bronzong, I believe that uh, it's more important to taunt him so he can stop setup rather than glare him because I already well I already glared him anyway so I mean whatever the case may be I do taunt him to make sure that he has no setup moves and now I know Bronzong and also um, tend to carry a lot of leftovers as well so I believe I go for the knockoff at some point to be able to take his item off so he won't be able to recover HP. Now um, he hits me with the flash cannon I see this as a great opportunity to send an Embor so I can retaliate with the um, flare blitz and um, do quite a bit of damage so however he switches out and he goes into his Landorus I know he probably was predicting me to go for a different move predicting him to switch but I just went for the basic flare blitz because I didn't want to overthink things and thankfully enough I don't overthink and I hit Landorus right in the face with the flare blitz and it does um, an amount that's yeah, anyway, so um, even though the Flare Blitz was successful, just the fact that I take so much recoil damage, you know that my Emblem isn't going to really stay in there for that long. I mean, only maybe one more turn. Now he goes into his um, Tyranitar, however, I see this as a threat because Tyranitar is naturally faster than Embor, at least I thought that when I was making these decisions. So I switch out and I go into my Gyarados, and with the Intimidate and just in general having good bulk, I'm able to um, take almost no damage from his moves whatsoever, including the Ice Punch that comes in. So I see that this is an elemental punching Tyranitar, so I know that I definitely don't want to be caught in sort of a catch-22 situation having my superior out there with him. So um, he goes back into his Bronzong, I suppose, just to be able to um, stall my Gyarados out. And as you saw with the taunt before, he was using Toxic on me. So I just taunt him one more time again, just for the fact that I do not want this Bronzong setting anything up on my Gyarados. So no, no Toxics, no... Um, what else does Bronzong do? I mean, I, it doesn't really hit me at the moment, but I know Bronzong setting up is not a good thing. Um, if he has Stealth Rock, that'll be bad as well. So I definitely want to stay in there and make sure that I wear this Bronzong down. And because my Superior before was able to knock off his leftovers, any damage that this Bronzong takes, it's going to take it for, for good, permanently. And that makes a whole lot of difference when you're in Pokemon, because even though leftovers recovery is only one, like one eighth or one sixteenth, I can't remember, but that's a small amount every turn. However, that adds up after a few turns, especially in a Star War like this. I mean, the Star War doesn't last too long, so forgive me if you get fed up with it, but um, the Bronzong definitely seems like it's something that I want to take out right away, because he's using this as a basic means to wall most of my Pokemon. So the main threat here, well, actually he's not even a threat, it's just more of a hindrance to deal with. However, um, once my taunt ends on the Bronzong, I definitely want to keep it up again. However, he sees this as a great opportunity to switch using Ramparados. And Ramparados, I know I don't want to take a hit on from Gyarados, so I go into my defensively bulky evil light Rhydon to be able to withstand the hit. And he goes for the, um, 
I believe he went for the stone edge. I didn't even see that. I, I apologize. But um, and then he follows up with the earthquake. Now most people do this on right um right on because they do figure that right on won't be able to take it since it's a rock type and you know he's weak against earth and everything. But I have the evil light and his defenses are out of this world. So I'm able to withstand the earthquake, retaliate with an earthquake of my own, and take this Ramparados out. So that's very, very good for me. However, I do love Ramparados, but I love Rhydon more. It's such a beautiful Pokemon. Did you know that Rhydon is the first Pokemon ever created? Yeah. Anyway, so I go into my Nidoqueen. My team is really first gen heavy, isn't it? I go into my Nidoqueen and um, seeing as how I didn't want to take a hit on Rhydon from, um, from this Ferrothorn, I just go straight into the Nidoqueen. I know I'll be able to neutral take damage from the um, Ferrothorn thanks to my poison and ground typing, and just from the fact that I have good defense EVs and I'm able to withstand the Power Whip. And I just go in there and flame throw the Ferrothorn, and he sends his next Rhyperior. And I thought that I'd be able to take it down in one hit, but then again, here's my flawed thinking with Rhyperior and the Ride Online. And I thought I could take it out in one hit, even though it's a special hit, but his sturdy rock, or solid rock rather, is able to stand the hit no problem at all and he takes me down with an earthquake so I switch now into my Gyarados because I know with the Intimidate he's definitely going to feel threatened and not think that he's as strong in there and so he fodders off his Rhyperior because I guess he figured that that was the only thing he could do to get Gyarados to um, kill him and then have a safe switch in so I just go for the Aqua Tail to take him down and then um, I'm looking pretty good in here right now just for the fact that I have leftovers recovery coming in every turn as well so um, he goes for his Tyranitar here and um, the Ice Punch goes in. I suppose he doesn't have things like the stone edge, so this must be an elemental punch of Tyranitar. So I see this as a great opportunity to hit him with the um, Thunder Wave, just to make sure that if he does happen to have the um, stone edge out of nowhere, at least I'll be able to die with Gyarados, but have his Tyranitar paralyzed to the point where I can have my Embor come in and hit him with a fighting move and take him down. So that's where my thinking was with that Tyranitar. However, I didn't want this Tyranitar to be a set that would catch me off guard, so I think the Thunder Wave definitely crippled him in that regard. And hitting him with Aqua Tails, I'm definitely going to be able to take the Tyranitar out at the end of the day. So, now, this Tyranitar, um, the, the critical hit didn't matter, of course. However, um, I do feel like I'm definitely going to have a good edge in there with Gyarados. And so, I believe I um, on the last Pokemon, I believe? Yeah, he's on his Bronzong. And um, I go for the Aqua Tails just to be able to wear Bronzong down because since he's um, at such low HP, it really wouldn't matter if I taunted him anyways. And so I'm just going to follow up consecutively with the Aqua Tails and I'm going to take this Bronzong out. And so that will be a good game there. However, um, looking much good beta, I am currently looking for um, battles. I'm just currently looking to expand. So I mean, if you have any suggestions at all for things I can add to my videos or take away from my videos, please do not hesitate to tell me. Um, I am very open to opinions, I'm very open to criticism, so I mean if you have anything that you would like to suggest, I definitely do advise doing so because I want to make sure that my channel is at least suitable for you guys. I know I can't satisfy every single one of you, but I can damn sure try. My name is Etika from the Etika World Network. Take a visit to my channel and I will talk to you all later. Have a good one.